Peekaboo! Hello everybody, it's Paul's Ranger, and today we're playing Five Nights at Anime. So, disclaimer, warning of Rule 34 image, oh well. <laughs> <sighs> so, will we survive the night? <laughs> and it's been made by that guy, so let's start the night. Freddy's Anime Convention, you guys can read this, very interesting. I did record this, but for some odd reason, Bandicam decided to put the image on the top left, and you could just see only a small glimpse of it, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, because I am using Bandicam. Oh, here we are. And... Ooh. Let's see how it goes. Hey, hey, hey! Congratulations on the new Nightwatch job. I actually worked at that place before you. Crazy, huh? Just finishing up my last few days, in fact. Anyway, I'm recording this message to help you get settled in on your first night. I know it can get quite overwhelming there, but you'll be fine. Things do tend to get a little weird at the night times, but there's nothing to worry about. The animatronics can get up to a bit of mischief at night, so be aware that the girls do tend to explore the place. They are put in some sort of night mode, so they are limbered up for the shows in the daytime. Something like that. But anyway, the only real risk would be, if any, is the fact that the girls here, uh, if they see you, will play a bit rough. Now that might sound good for some people, <laughs> but with the heavy assets they have, you could imagine the discomfort and death. Uh, yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first day should be a breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, remember, Check these cameras, and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Got to conserve power. Alright, good night. Well, knowing that I could get killed by boobies is pretty interesting. So here's my question to you guys. Would you rather die from boobs, or Freddy Fazbear stuff you in a suit? That's something I want you guys to know at around 1am. Here's a trick of surviving the night. I have survived and I do have the recording, but for some reason the game footage is already on the top left. Very small for some odd reason. To survive the night, just only, like, look at the cameras fast, you know, don't let it have time. Same with the lights, just go, just flick her quick. Oh, she goes off. Alright, she's over there. The only time you need to. If there's one animatronic on the side of the door, focus on that one. Wait until they're at the door, and once they're gone, check the left side. And if it's not there, then you've survived. It is all about being very careful. Oh, okay, great. I'm gonna be over here, check. She's over there. Check the bodies. She's there. It's all about playing smart, my friends. Is one good looking chicken. Oh god. I survived the whole game with 1% power left. No! I am not dying from boobs. No, not today. Damn, sir. Just buck her off! Okay, both of them there. Bad rabbit, bad chicken. So you're probably asking, what's my opinion about the game? The game looks great. For a demo, this is one good looking Five Nights at Freddy's fan made game. Uh, oh crap. I have to say it. But that ass. I feel like that looks tempting to smack it. Oh god. Oh come on, you gotta be a bit kinky with these things. Knowing that you're gonna die from boobies is. Okay, Chica's coming. 
2 a.m. Yeah, the art design is pretty good. Very smooth, though, I have to admit. Okay, she's at the door. Like I said, don't check the camera when they're there, because if they're there, you're fucked, mate. I freaking knew it. The minute they're gone, get the door up immediately. Um, the only thing I can say is very annoying because you have to press the down key, and I don't really want to press the down key. If the developer put a bar on the bottom, like with Five Nights at Freddy's, then it'll be easier. Beating him. Ah, uh, cheese there. That ass and that rabbit though. Oh crap, I need a concern. I'm at 3 a.m. But like I said, unless if there's like a specific reason why it's the down key, like maybe the AI for the animatronics is high. Or, okay, she's at the door. And again, little clicks here and there. Not. You know, camera up. Come on. <laughs> no, no, go away. Check the side. The girls are right back there. Freddy's not coming up. Good. Okay, 3 a.m. with 38% of the power. Survive to one a. I will get to six a.m. No matter what, if it's death by buoys or a sweet ass. Okay, they're over there. Come on, game. Come on, five a.m. If we just get to five a.m. Yes. All right. For now on, we're not checking the cameras. Sorry, we're not even checking. Chica's at the door. Come on. Come on. Show yourself. I don't want to <laughs> die by boobies. No way. Go away. Get lost. I don't want to die from a pair of boobs. Probably the security guard end up getting laid, but end up suffocating from the blasts. Come on, I don't want to die from a fucking fast bear. Come on. Yeah, I can tell with the bikini girls in front of the screen. It'd be funny if you went to your friends when, hey, I've been working at a, I've been the security guard. Oh, cool, what have you been working at? 
Freddy's anime convention? That place, I heard security guards die. But those girls. Now I'm just being a bit balloony. Left and right. I know it's. Bit, you just want to see me die, do you guys? So you can get the boobies. <coughs> Survived. And as a G mod would say, I survived! Congratulations, you survived the game tonight. So, yeah. I have to admit though, um, to survive the night you just don't overdo the cameras because the power will go, it, go down, it goes down so quick. So if you want to survive the night without dying or death from boobs, just have the camera up for a second a half a second like in the second game you got instantly this instantly up and instantly down because you only need to know is know when they are there and once you get to 5 a.m. and you're at low power then don't use the cameras and all and just just do the Russian roulette thing you should look left and right until you see one of the girls and close the door that's how you do it guys but I must admit though it was a bit tensed not scary but uh a bit lovely, I have to admit. And seen from Rule 34. <laughs> but any ideas for the developer? Um, would be nice if the cameras weren't on a down key, or if maybe on the S key would be easier. Also, having information like which button to press to get the cameras up. That would be nice. Also, the power did drain very, very quick, though. So, but yet again, this is a demo. So maybe the full version will be totally different to the um, full version. So yeah, art design, I must say, it's very nice and lovely. Even that part with Bonnie showing her backside, and it looks tempting to go whack. <laughs> it pretty much, it pretty much the kinky stuff. <laughs> a lot of kawaii <laughs> and very good lookingness. I prefer the brat. I prefer the anime version to the original ones because the original ones just look so damn scary. They just want to rip your head off, but they're not possessed by children. I'm quite interested of what the purple guy would look like. Meh. Oh well. But that said, I thank you for watching. The game is pretty wonderful. I will leave a link in the description to you to download. It's demo at the moment. I don't know when the full one's coming out. But when it does come out, I will play it. And I am going to say this. I do have my own fan-made game. It's not the best. It's my first attempt called One Night at Putis. You have to go to... I could leave in the description, but go and check my other video with that. In any case... Well done for the developer for the game. I found it really fun and a uh, bit on the um, nice side of things. But if it was his first attempt, then bravo. Looking forward to the full version and thanks for watching.